last interview with adult film actress Heather Hunter, she concluded the conversation with her decision never to do porn again. I'll never go back. Mm -mm. See, in life, you always got to go forward. You never go back. Because you always go back, something, something goes wrong, you know. Because life is already a cycle, so why go back, <laughs> you know? It seems Heather has changed her mind. Urban Street caught up with her recently at an appearance at Chicago's Admiral Theater. I popped in, I popped out, you know. Um, I popped in about two years ago, and uh, I did about six, six rounds. I was, I think it was temptation, I think so. The temptation, and I just got a divorce, and you know, I was, I wanted to walk on the wild side and see my friends again. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. And it's so funny, when I came back, it seemed like I got bigger. Go figure. When I go on a tour and I dance as a feature star, as an adult star, there's a lot of towns and a lot of clubs that um, they don't hire black talent or any type of minorities to feature at the club, you know. And there's a lot of clubs. I've been on the road for like at least nine, ten years. So I've basically broke through a lot of those clubs, and which as soon as I break through, another girl will follow after me. There'll be a Dominique Simone, there'll be a Janet Jackley, and also the adult video news. Adult video news never had a... Um, uh, Afro-American woman on their cover ever and I was able to grace their cover about three times and that was like a major breakthrough for the adult business ever um, and a lot of girls in the business come to me for like advice and I, I try to guide them the best way it's really hard to sit there and s s hold a pro no, protest sign by yourself you know mostly all my movies that I've ever created all of them actually are never stereotyped um, if they're gonna hire me as, as Heather Hunter that's who I am whether I'm black, white, Spanish, or Asian, it doesn't matter. And I think that right there made the respect, and that's, I think that's how I got my claim to fame. Heather Hunter is one of America's most popular adult film stars. Usually the film do not have much of a plot or a story behind it, but actually hers actually has a story to it. So it looked like she put a lot of effort into make her not only entertaining in one way, but actually entertaining as far as if I was looking at a R-rated or a PG-rated movie. I've never wanted to be a star. I really never wanted to be a star. I really wanted to be a legend. I never wanted to be a star. And I, I figured, you know, the only way to be a legend is to um, make a difference in certain, some type of way in this world. And when guys are just gaga, as well as women, um, I appreciate that. I think that is so... I'm like honored that they like me, you know, that's like, I get hyped on that, <laughs> you know, I take it in and I appreciate it a lot. I've read some literature on her before and, you know, where she's come from as far as uh, her background and everything. And it's good to see someone making it in the business like she is and, to can, you know, to continue on and whatnot. And, uh, I feel that uh, she's a strong black woman doing some positive things, you know, she's making a living. When I came back into the business, I was able to um, be able to um, practice safe sex in all my movies, you know. So the movies that are out now, um, they all use the condom use and everything, so uh, that was a big deal for me. Uh, just being out of the business for about seven years, I did the movies from the age 18 to 20, just being out of the business for seven years, it was a big high risk factor of just AIDS in this world anyway. So, I mean, for me to come back into a business and do six films, you know, and to like try to just do six films and might just play Russian roulette with my life was not, that wasn't worth it. So, I went back, used the condom. It was great. We had a great time. It was a nice reunion. <laughs> and uh, now I'm back out and I'm back um, doing a lot of bigger and better uh, escapades. I've been bisexual as long as I remember. Um, even when I was a child, I was always attracted to women and to little girls as when I was a little girl. Like my best friend, I, I knew I had more of a strong attraction for her physically as well as mentally. Um, but I just never understood it, you know. I think when you're bisexual, it gets to the point where 
you come to a point when you get a little bit older, either you're going to experience it or you're just going to let it just slip by and just never tap into it. So I decided to experience it. And I had to experience it more full blast when I did my first film called Heather. It was called Ultimate Dream. I was 18 years old. It was on my birthday. And um, it was interesting. It was just, it came natural. It felt good, you know. I was actually with somebody I wanted to be with. And, you know, well, most of the girls are beautiful anyway, so why wouldn't you want to be with them? <laughs> so um, it was it was an experience. And I, I'll stay this way. My boyfriend likes it. So. <laughs>